it. I think the first one was probably about 1981. And um, I did that in just over the hour. I was a bit annoyed because it took me two minutes to get over the start line. And if it had had the system in place they have now, I would have got 59 minutes instead of 61. Anyway, I've enjoyed doing it. That first year was interesting because I caught up with a bunch of my students, third year students. And then I said, guys, I want to do a faster time than we're doing. So I, had to, I left them behind and they were just amazed. <laughs> I ran for University Athletics in, in Wellington, but I was never really much into a competitive runner until when my son Mark got interested and I was taking him along. He ended up helping out and then I ended up running in the vets. Then I decided I wasn't fit enough, so I did some more training. And so it's just something which the daily run or you know, two or three times a week, and I now try and fit in swims as well, just a bit of cross training. Um, I found that helps me to keep fitter and I feel better. The team's run for many years, so um, 20 years ago, uh, one of our engineering professors, John Montagna, started the team and since then there's been hundreds of uh, staff, students, alumni, community members running each year and this will actually be the 21st year. Having members on the team like John is really inspiring to all the staff and students involved. And I think because the team does have such an, a diverse range of people in it, whether they be younger or older, I think that everyone gets something out of that, meeting a variety of people and, um, yeah, and, and seeing that everyone, if they give it a go, can complete the city to surf and, and have a, an enjoyable time and a great day out.